is that the Cut the Police Budget campaign is concerned about the about 4% yearly increase to the police budget in Vancouver, um, which is the highest spending amount for any item in the budget for the city, even higher than housing. In addressing the root causes of homelessness, poverty, drug use, displacement, and colonialism, we can instead envision community and people-based solutions to these problems instead of supporting and investing more in the police, which is an institution that exists to protect the interests of a few. We see that the city is increasingly relying on the police to respond to non-criminal situations, and the VPD has publicly stated that only about 25% of the calls are related to act like to any criminal acts. The rest are um, people who are overdosing, um, people who are loitering because they are homeless, um, and people in mental distress. So the VPD is not only wasteful in its consumption of an increasingly higher budget, despite the city's own estimates of crime going down. In the draft 2019 budget, the police department is being allotted, as we found out through the game we just played, 21% of the operating budget. So for 2019, the police will get $317.2 million, a 3.2 increase over last year's $307.3 million. The budget states that while crime is estimated to be lower in 2019, as compared with that in 2018, the total number of calls for service continues to trend higher. And as the expectations and complexities around policing evolve, the addition of staff will help the VPD achieve the desired trends. If crime is going down, then why is the budget going up? The city says that calls for service are increasing, but those are non-crime related, and we should not be investing in and trusting the police to handle and respond to situations that actually require um, radical structural overhaul um, that will address homelessness by giving people homes, that will address drug overdoses by harm reduction, and that will address mental health by getting rid of capitalism. So the solution to these problems is more social and economic supports, not more policing and thus more criminalization. And yet the police department is higher than social services and housing. Um, so clearly we have to question what the city's priorities are when their budget for the police is even higher than housing people. Um, so I'm going to go into the introductions for our panelists now. I'm just going to hand the mic over and they can introduce themselves. My name is Karina. Um, I'm a Latinx woman who was born on the traditional territories of the Chona Vega and the Island of Nau. A Nau is people, people who remain extinct as a result of Spanish colonization, but who are um, ancestors to us as mestizo people and other and shaping who we are as a people. Um, I immigrated at a young age and Territory, uh, which were the traditional territories of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, and Dene peoples of the homeland of the Métis Nation. And I've been organizing with um, Anti Police Power Surrey for about six months, who focus most of their work on uh, the unceded territories of the Kwantlen, Kutsi, Kite, Masquean, Sawasan, Sinyang, and Kukwitma Nations. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Liz Potter. I'm a board member of Vancouver, the Vancouver Area Network for Drug Users. I'm also a member of Toro, which is a recent member of my life. And I'm a website member as well. I'm a dependent overdose, and I've got a response overdose team. And uh, I think we're just here. Let's take My name is Lauren Gabo. I'm with uh, Hogan Society, it's a black community. Our work is, uh, uh, you know, designed to promote the interests of uh, black people in, in Vancouver, as well as um, uh, raise public, uh, you know, 
on public education and understanding um, challenges that the black community face. This is, um, I'm going to talk about the, uh, what I think is, needs to be done in terms of uh, solving the problems here and it's not increasing the, bu the budget for the VTE. Thank you. Uh, my name is Minakshi. I work as a community educator at the Legal Society and I also help organize um, the August 10th Prison Justice Day Memorial Rally in solidarity with all the folks who have died in custody in Canadian prisons and internationally. Um, and I also am a programmer at Co-op Radio where I talk about prisons and psychiatry, and they're all very related. Ooh.